Aquarius, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. General reading, take what works, leave what doesn't. Feel free to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I always find my uh, rising or ascendant to be the most accurate um, for me. Uh, so I cut the deck. From the bottom of the deck, we have two of swords. Uh, ooh, denial. What aren't you looking at? What are you refusing to see? Oh. stubbornness you can feel something but you're not seeing you're not allowing yourself to see it which is basically what denial is denial is a wonderful tool a wonderful uh, way that our brain can protect us from things we're not ready to deal with yet um, but at some point we need to you know we need to keep growing so that we can like peel off those those blindfolds and actually see some of the difficulties that surround us so there could be some denial there can also be just like refusing to talk about something or ignoring something you can ignore something on purpose and there can be really good reasons for that so we'll dive more in here and then also over on vimeo i have uh relationship readings up there so the link will be in the description box if you have a problem with that just email me and i'll help you out past present inner landscape what's at issue environment to-do list possible outcome oh that is fast that is very fascinating what we have uh two aces and three twos hold on i don't come across that often enough to um know exactly what that means off the top of my head uh, but I do know where to look it up and my favorite source for that so the twos means like restructuring needs to happen some sort of restructuring but I always feel like the twos for most of the suit take us out of the meaning and the intent of the suit for except for two of cups like actually just kind of solidify like reiterate sort of the connection there but like two of swords, swords are all about communication, sometimes hard communication, sometimes um, painful communications and realization. And the two takes us straight out of that. Like we're not in realization, open communication mode. We're in like sort of, um, I'm not really ready to talk about it mode. I'm not really ready to think about it very clearly mode. Uh, that's more, you know, whereas normally our swords are strong communication, strong um, clarity, mental clarity. And this is the two takes us out of that. So apparently the two is talking about sort of needing to restructure something. Oh, I like this. There's a lot of, there is this, re, I'm going to post a, obviously a picture at the end of this, but there's some really cool, like there's columns and rows here and the columns are looking awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and so is, so are the bookends here. All right, in your recent past, you have Ace of Pentacles, beginning something new in reality. Either you got a new apartment, you got a new job, you got a new car or something new, very tangible, real. This isn't just a new thought, a new feeling, a new idea, or it's it's real. It's uh, You started something here, um, a beginning, a viable seed. Um, the springtime, it comes up. You know, we plant several seeds, not all of them come up, and this one did. This one, this one, you, you got something here. So it has to do with, you know, maybe, yeah, anything in sort of reality. A new beginning, actually, physically real new beginning. Current situation is the star card. So there's a lot of reasons to hope here. You, you're getting a little wink from the universe that there are reasons to hope. Um, there's a blessing here. There's something for you today, but there's something also for you in the future, too. This isn't the end of the road. We're reinvesting some of what we have here, investing in the future because there's a hope. When you have hope in the future, um, you have to invest it. You invest in that. That That is putting your money where your mouth is. Your mouth is like, mm, I think this is going to happen. And your money's like, do you? And you're like, yeah, I do. So I'm going to put some of you into this future investment. This reminds me of someone um, approached me wondering how to get into, I have like, I'm in, I, I'm in like three different industries. So someone approached me on like, oh, how do you do that? And I'm like, well, first of all, you have to invest in yourself because it's very hard to talk to other people into investing in you when you haven't done any work. People, that's just too much of a risk. This person doesn't 
doesn't work on this. They have nothing. They have no resume in this industry. They have nothing. So you at least need to invest in training and invest in, um, in practicing on your own or something. And then that helps not always every so often we hear about the random, you know, discovery of a person, but that investment in yourself helps other people be like, okay, they know what to do with their time and money. So if I invest time and money into them, they're not going to just throw it all away. So, um, so there's a sense here of the star card of some of the blessings that you're having right now, investing that in your future or in the future of something, um, some sort of hope and putting and backing that hope up with time, energy, money. Um, but there's also something for you now. There's a, there's, there's a reason to have hope right now. And you're getting that reason. There's some sort of validation of like, well, you know, there, there is a reason to continue investing in this. There is some sort of uh, validation for that. Um, so maybe you've invested time and the, the pentacles sometimes look like a clock face to me. Um, so it can be like time, money, something like that. So you're getting sort of a wing from the universe that you can't, that it is in the, keep investing in this, keep investing in this. So your hope ace of wands, you want a new project, possibly a creative project, possibly, um, a sexual adventure or even intuitive you want a new an intuitive hit you want like the star card it's like here in your environment i think you may want to feel that you may want to see that um we have this sort of i think it has to do with your own path and sort of this springtime so that's our second ace this ace of pentacles beginning something so you have a beginning in real life, but there's something too where you'd like a passionate beginning, a creative beginning. You want another new beginning. You want another new thing to come along that that is that you are very passionate about. I want to say that maybe even separates you from the rest or helps you feel like that's not in the day to day. That's not part of just um, everyday life. That's unique to you and for you and in a way like it doesn't elevate you but separates you out from i think like maybe a day-to-day -day life activity or something like that like you want to start something that perhaps that makes you feel special that makes you feel um passion i mean the the truth is that you have something in your environment right now that is telling you that that you are special is telling you that you do have a passion is telling you that there's reasons to hope. And I think you, you'd like to feel it and, and have the intuitive hit yourself and not just hear about it from a tarot lady on YouTube. You want to like feel this, you're hopeful of a new project or a new, new something here. So, um, what's that issue here? Here, seven of swords in reverse secrets being revealed. Uh, this is, not a, a, a big issue. I mean, it can be, especially if you've been in denial about something, this is like, well, you can't be in denial about it anymore. If you and someone haven't talked about something, it's not going to be untalkable about it anymore. Um, if you've been trying to avoid conflict, you're not avoiding conflict anymore. Um, this is all coming out, all coming to the surface. If there's been something that you've sensed, but haven't known the clarity is coming in. Um, yeah clarity coming in, uh, what, what's not been known, what's been withheld information that's been withheld is actually, uh, gonna be revealed here or is in the process of being revealed. This might be the wink from the universe, the star card. Um, the reason to have hope, um, is, or it's, it could be something that you need to hold on to that reason to have hope because, um, because things are being revealed. Uh, conflict is no longer avoidable or I don't really see it as conflict. I think we've got other cards that can describe conflict better. I think it's just what you haven't known, you know now. What hasn't been said is said now. And I'm not sure it's even very controversial. It's just what someone was just kind of keeping to themselves. They're now saying, and maybe it is the star card. Maybe someone meant to like compliment you or, or has admired you. And now they're telling you, yeah, you know what? I actually do admire you. I actually do. Like, I, I, I do have a lot of faith in you. And I think that you, you know, have a great future 
ahead of you or a future with me or a future, you know, whatever kind of future the star is pointing at, this distant star is pointing at, um, there's information coming in about that reason for hope. And so it seems like these swords, seven of swords, this revelation or this, this open communication would be in service of that. Um, in your environment, people are juggling a lot. A lot of people are a lot of busy right now. They're managing, they're holding on and no one's like, well, I mean, people are always falling apart, but this doesn't have to do with this story. Someone falling apart. There, there is a lot to manage and a lot going on. And someone may have like a couple different jobs going on or a couple different projects. This is project management that seems a little like precarious, a little bit like, little little precarious um unlike someone could drop the ball this is juggling you know just right at your uh peak capacity like you know you can do three balls really well you know you can do four balls well five balls is iffy six balls maybe and you're juggling six balls right now so um so that or someone is someone's busy your environment is very busy it's it's constantly in danger of someone dropping a ball or i want to say like an egg and the egg breaking right it's just like a lot of stuff to keep in the air and to keep moving through and going through and cycling through and checking your to-do list and recycling the to-do list into tomorrow's to-do list and making sure you don't miss this and don't miss that i mean it generally is a busy time of year and we've done that on purpose as a culture um and it's a busy time of year so we can all like ignore the darkness and not and just not look at it if we're too if we're so busy then we don't hibernate and really rethink things and um yeah it can keep depression at bay but it can also keep self-reflection at bay as well so just a very busy time and a very busy environment and everybody's busy it's not just you so your to-do list is the sun card so let's let's take a minute to appreciate this we have the Ace of Pentacles, one pinnacle, arriving on top of two pinnacles. So we have this, like, maybe you got a new job and you added it to the um, circuit of all the other things you're doing. You doubled your jobs. And that's usually what the pinnacles means to me, or can mean, is that for a time period, you're having to juggle a couple different things. Like, um, you know, you might be moving out of one apartment and then moving into another. And for like a month, you're kind of halfway between the two you know, if they're close enough or whatever. Um, this is what this card would indicate that. Or you started a new job, but you still have to wind down the old job. So you're kind of doing two at once. Or you had a baby and you got to add it into the, you had a baby and you have to add it into the mix. Or you already have a baby and you got a new job and it all is added into the busy mix, right? And then we have right here, we have what's going on is a star card. And then we have the to-do list which is the sun. So the star is just a really distant sun. So this thing that you've had reason for hoping for, somehow it's in your to-do list as like up close. So this distant star that we've been wishing on and hoping for and getting sort of some possible hints from or feedback from, now it's like right up close. So um, I'm the star, sun card, be happy, be obvious, be very clear. Don't pussyfoot around especially if we've been sort of in denial energy or secret energy it's like reveal this reveal it share it show it reveal it I feel like bop it <laughs> um but share it I mean there's there's growth here there's movement here there might be a little bit of fear about being so open about something and so clear about something and so delighted with something but it's actually kind of similar to well, right before this reading, I had started a reading for you already, um, and I got to this point in the last reading, and um, and my camera was just like my it just just was like oh actually I'm done now, and I can't remember anything you just said. So if you could just do that all over again, I didn't want to do it over again. I wanted to do a totally new one. So which is really funny because. 
the what was that issue was the lack of strength card and the quitting card and that's exactly what my camera did it quit i didn't remember anything that had gone on before it told me it was listening and it absolutely was not listening or recording and when i went to play it back it was like oh yeah it's there but it's blank you can't see it which is this, which is really funny here. I just think this is really funny because Capricorn had a very similar self-referential reading where every card was showing up as um, an event in the reading, actually. So, and so then the Sun card, here I am revealing, finally, what happened before this reading uh, and telling you, oh, yes, this is, this is what happened. Um, but it actually has that same feeling because it was like being happy with this your to-do list was the same it wasn't the same card and you actually got a couple cards when in this position somehow and it was a to-do list was the same being happy a lot of growth revealing things um saying you know what happened what your perspective was or or being very honest and i think in a way trusting that that's what you need to do but it is this distant star card now becomes like front and center and and are you the star? Are you the blessing? Are you, you know, something that's, that seems so distant and nearly impossible is, is right here in your face now. It's going to burn you if you get any closer than you are. Um, but it is like in direct opposition to this. Here um, we have this like not seeing something, kind of feeling something, knowing it's there, but not talking openly about it, not asking for questions or clarification about it. And then we have a book ending this reading on what's at issue is the seven of swords, things coming out, truth coming out, truth being spoken. And then in between those two, we have you being obvious, honest, and happy about it and revealing things and um, telling your story and saying what happened back here. You know, maybe you've, you've been secretive about something and now you can finally talk about it and share it with other people um and celebrate and be proud of your growth be proud of how far you've come and and be proud of something and you can finally share it here um and being happy and very clear communication it's a sun card it's everything's revealed and apparently you're revealing everything you know legal ramifications considered and all of that but you're revealing everything um and possible outcome two of wands well now we've got something practical to deal with here practical considerations how are we going to change our world and right something's being restructured which is really funny because your your possible outcome on the other reading was the tower card and it wasn't coming in as like scary it was coming in as really cool because the rest of the reading was so positive and this reading is the same we've got these new beginnings we've got a lot of maybe some busyness and a lot to do um, but it's it got this whole positive really positive vibe it's the same Similar vibe as the last one, right? Individual cards are all different, but similar vibe as the last one. And the tower card was coming more in with this, this restructuring. Okay, well, now we've got some practical considerations here. Now that, now that everything's out, all the cards are out on the table, and we can all remember what they are, and we are looking at them, what do we do now? Because the ace of the wands, well, here, and then here was our third sort of really cool thing. We have this ace of wands. This, this reading is just so beautifully symmetrical. So we have this Ace of Wands here, and then underneath it, we had the Two of Wands. And remember, we had the Ace of Pentacles, and then underneath it, we had the Two of Pentacles. So, and then the Star card with the Sun card, the Star is just a, it's like, it's doubling. This whole top row is, is single, you know, the Star becomes the Sun, the Ace becomes the Two, the Ace becomes the Two, um, things being revealed. It's like doubling some sort of good news or good Something is very much increasing. And with that increase is a structural change. And so the two of wands, the wands being more of an intuitive suit, a creative suit, the two of wands gets really practical. Like, well, how are we going to meet? And then I love that we have, well, we, we have the two, the three twos here. And I love that we have this, these in opposite directions, looking in opposite directions, not facing something. Um, the separation and then the same it's reversed, right? Just like 
this not seeing is reversed with this reversed uh, seven of swords and this seeing something. Um, and so here we have coming together and we have the one we becoming two again. And then the coming together. Well, how are these two going to work together? How is this going to happen? How do we come together? Here we've been separated. We've been not looking at each other. We've been not looking at the situation, not seeing something. You're meant to be very obvious and clear. And, that, and then now it's like, well, what, the, what are the next steps? Because now that all the cards are out on the table with the sun card, what are the next steps? Now that all the cards are on the table with this reverse seven of swords card, what are the next steps? So it's just looking at very practically. And I just love how, you know, these are pointed away and these are pointed together. And so there is very clearly a restructuring. Our triangle gets turned upside down, gets completely reversed. Now we're building rather than like uh, tearing asunder and not, not paying attention to something. Now we're building together. So how are we going to move forward with something? How are we going to recreate the world according to our passions? Um, because you have a passionate new idea here and, um, and it deserves uh, effort, consideration, planning. So the two of wands is typically about planning, sorting, figuring out how things come together and how things work together. This is, again, a very beautiful reading. The vibe is the same. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got these synchronicity cards coming out here and... Um, the vibe is the same as the one that got deleted and my phone forgot about even while I was doing it. No, that's too many. I can't, I'm not going to take that many. We don't need a pamphlet. We need one or two. You know what? This one is so gorgeous, so let's just take it. And that's it. Wild Rose Fairy Love. So this could be about a relationship, but this could be about something that you love, right? You were looking for... A passionate thing here you're hoping for some passion and we have wild rose fairy love so looking for roses looking for love looking for wild roses visually it's not my favorite card in the sacred forest oracle by denise lynn but overall it definitely is my favorite card so very cute i love that wild rose fairy love so All right, and what do we have? Our final prayer. Let's see here. Chameleon, calm chameleon, versatility, camouflage, agility. Seems random. <laughs> um, careful creature, but it never is, right? This nothing in this reading was random, so I'm just going to trust this too. Careful creature cloaked in colors, bless my heart with peace and patience. All right. Needing some peace and patience here. I feel like there's a little bit of going with the flow. Calm chameleon. Okay. Like blending in with your surroundings in a little bit here. Versatility, agility, being staying on your toes and responding. Responding to circumstances, shifting circumstances around you is what I'm, I think of when I think of the chameleon, the responding to, but also they are really like calm. I don't think I've ever seen a chameleon freak out before. So, all right, peace and patience in all of this sort of restructuring of things. So hopefully that that's helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Join me over on Vimeo if you wish. Ciao.